Today, you will learn how to design a shadow text effect in three easy steps. So stay with me for the next five minutes and let's hop straight into Photoshop. Okay, so the first step is to type in your text. So come to your tools and select the text tool. Now I'm going to use a font size of 120 PT and also I'm going to use a font type known as designer. Okay, now come down here and create a new layer and type in the first letter of your word. Mine is going to be D because I'm going to be using the word design. So type in D and then position it on your canvas. Okay, now click here and then come down and create a mask for the D. Very good. Now click Ctrl plus G and then click Ctrl plus T and drag it away from the D. And then change the letter. So let's change this to E. And then we are going to repeat the same process. Click Ctrl plus J, Ctrl plus T and drag it out and change the letter. So this time we are going to change it to S in that order. Okay, now the next step is to add the shadows. To add the shadows, come to your tools and select the brush tool. Now make sure your flow is 50%, opacity at 100. Make sure your brush is a soft brush. And make sure the foreground color is black. If it's not black, you can click here to change it to black. Now come to your first letter and swipe just once. Very good. Now after doing this, select the next letter which is E. Click Ctrl plus T and then position it on top of the first letter. Very good. Now repeat the same process for the E as well. Select the mask of the E and then swipe once to create the shadow. And then click Ctrl plus T for the S and then position it on top of the E. For the eye, the eye is very lanky and slim, so we can just do a very small shadow over here for the S. Just once. Okay. Position that one also on top of the S. Very good. And then we are going to do the same thing for the J as well. Now you can leave the N as it is or you can add shadow to it as well. But I'm going to add shadow to it as well. So just one swipe. Very good. Or you can just add two for the N. Now holding shift, select the last letter to select all your letters. And then click Ctrl plus J to group them. Now after grouping them, we are going to move to the next and final step which is to add a reflection. So for now, let's position the text in the center of our canvas. Click enter. Now click Ctrl plus J to duplicate the group. Now drag the group below your first group and then hold Ctrl plus T and then right click and click on flip vertical. Now drag it below your text. Make sure it's aligned perfectly. If it's not aligned perfectly, click Ctrl T and align it again. Very good. Now when you are satisfied, just come to your opacity and reduce the opacity. So I'm going to keep the opacity at 16 looks very good for my image. And then come to your mask tool and select the mask. After selecting the mask, select your brush tool again and then you can increase the size of your brush tool with the right square bracket key. And then clean the bottom part of your reflection to make it look more natural. So just clean to give it a more natural reflection. very good and there you have it your shadow text effect beautifully done in photoshop thanks for watching if you learned something today don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome tutorials from me never ever stop creating and i'll see you in my next video